my name is Sarah from Look Who Made, and today I'm going to show you how to make these tiny vases. They're actually an upcycle from light bulbs that were broken and that I just couldn't get myself to throw out. And now that you see what I made out of them, you're also pretty glad that I didn't, right? And I'm going to show you how to make these tiny vases now so you can recreate this in your home. So let's get started. So here is what you need for your tiny vases. The blown up to light bulbs, pliers, a screwdriver, twine and a hot glue gun. First you need to take off that metal cap of your light bulb. If it doesn't come off as easily as shown here, you can just tap it a few times with your screwdriver and it should just easily come off. Then take your pliers and pull off the glass end. You should hear a slight hissing sound. This means that the gas inside is escaping. Then place your screwdriver inside. Take your pliers and tap it a little and then the inside should shatter. Once it's shattered, we need to break off a little of that bottleneck of the light bulb to get all the pieces out. This is a little bit of a fumbly, weird and very delicate process as you can see here. But just take your time, be patient and just try to break off only a slight piece. Then take the pliers and pull out all the wire and glass from the inside. Last but not least, take your hot glue gun, then take your twine, place it on one side, create a loop and place the other end to the other side of that bottleneck. Then take some more glue and wrap the twine all around the bottleneck to secure the twine in place. This is when I remembered why I don't like to work with a hot glue gun because you always end up with sticky fingers, glue everywhere and you burned yourself not only once. But hey, the result looks great, so that's all that matters, right? So once you've repeated this process several times, you should end up with tiny vases like this. And don't get discouraged by the video here. It only took me like one hour to make all these vases. So if you put on some good music, it's all fun and games. So let's admire the final result and see if all that effort is really worth it. And the answer is yes, of course. It's, it looks stunning, let's be honest. and would love to see more tutorials like this please give the video a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification when i post my next DIY video until then have a good time